Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Pablo Stanley, and on this episode, we're going to learn how to create scroll-based interactions using the behaviors feature from Plento. This is a two-part tutorial. This is the second part. The first part, we actually learned to do more basic stuff like a button and a switch. So if you want to go back and watch that one, just go to the description and you'll find a link to that. So, okay, let's get started. Okay guys, so we're gonna start by looking at some examples of what we can do using behaviors with scrolling. So let's look at the first example. Here I'm on, I'm on Flinto and I'm going to preview this. Uh, and then as you can see, when I scroll, I'm affecting how the header moves. And then just another practice of pro something pretty similar, just so, so you can see the possibilities of this. I'm going to put this at 150% so we can see. So look at this. So we can have uh, elements that that get fixed when you're scrolling and you can apply this with, again, we use in the scrolling behavior. Another example is like how elements, while you're scrolling, how elements uh, shrink down and rotate and change color. So here, see how the top is changing color and also the elements are rotating. This is another example. So this is one of the practices that we're going to do. So let me put this at 100% so we can see the whole thing. Here it uh, it has a paging. So again, um, this is controlling the little dots that, that, is, that are telling me uh, where I am in the flow. And it's also controlling the elements that appear and disappear, uh, the copy, the, the, the bios of these people. All the files for uh, these practices are in the description. So even these that we're not going to uh, learn today, they all have a sketch file and they also have a Flinto file so you can play around with these. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is uh, use uh, the scrolling behavior. We're going to change when this scrolls, this element. See how I'm going to zoom out so you can see. This is a tall element, it's a really long element. Uh, when it reaches a point over here, I want this header to shrink down and these elements to disappear. So let's just send to Flinto. So I'm going to go to plugins, send to Flinto. And there you go. The first thing that I want to do is make this element, all of this uh, long element, I want to make it scrollable. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to go over here on the panel and I'm going to say select a scroll vertical. Now that it's a scroll vertical, I can preview it and it scrolls. That's all good, but it's not doing anything, right? So uh, the first thing that I want to do is uh, make this uh, the scroll, uh, the scrolling area a little bit bigger, so I'm going to make it the size of the artwork, and now it doesn't uh, it doesn't cut there. So now it sc scrolls all the way down. Probably I'm going to add a little bit of padding here, so I'm going to make this scrolling area a little bit bigger here on the uh, below. And now when I scroll down, it scrolls here and has a nice padding here. Now that I have this, now I'm going to create a behavior. So I have my scrolling area, but I also want to select all of these layers plus my scroll my scroll group, and then I'm going to create a behavior once I have all of them selected. When I uh, create a behavior, it creates a group for me and then it takes me to the behavior designer. Here in the behavior designer, I can start adding different states of my uh, interaction. So it starts with the initial state and the initial state, you cannot change it because uh, this is how it's designed originally. So you, you cannot move elements around as you can see but you can add multiple uh, states here. So here on, uh, it starts the initial and I want to add another one. So my new state, I'm going to call it scroll. Scroll. And here in my new state, I am going to change the header. So the header, the first thing is, uh, I'm going to shrink down these elements. I'm going to select all of them. And I'm going to shrink them down around there. And then not only that, but also I'm going to rotate them. I'm going to rotate this uh, in this Z, probably around 45 degrees. What do you think about that? And then this, positive 45 degrees, and then this, negative 45 degrees. There you go. And now I'm going to align all of them. And I'm also going to uh, change the opacity of them. Uh, but not only that, I'm going to make them smaller and then they move around here, right? And then the opacity moves around there. This is when you scroll, they shrink down and they rotate and they meet in the middle. And then this guy probably uh, centers with the uh, the back button and then the uh, background shrinks down. So probably it should shrink down around there. Let's just eyeball it for now. There you go. So now we have this state. It goes from the initial and then it, when it's a scroll, it does that. Okay, so now 
uh, we have or state, but right now it doesn't do anything. If I scroll, it doesn't do anything yet. The thing is that we need to add also uh, a gesture to my scrolling group. So to my scroll, scroll group, I'm going to add a gesture here and I'm, I can just press F, I suppose, F for Flinto, I guess. And then I can, I just say, this uh, uh, gesture is going to take me to the second state. And then here on my gesture, I'm going to select scroll, automatically select scroll for me. And then I'm, I'm going to be done. I want to say, at when is this going to be triggered? At what position? So I'm going to select these. This, uh, these, uh, these elements tell me at what position uh, the scrolling uh, makes the change to the, the next state. So I'm going to make it a, around the size of the uh, header, and now I'm going to preview it. Oh, <laughs> look at that. That's it, like magic. That's it, that's all. And then automatically, see how uh, when I scroll, when I scroll back, it automatically does the animation uh, uh, inverse. And this is uh, one of the features that it has behaviors with scrolling, they work perfectly. Let's move on to our next one. This one is going to be a little bit more complicated. I prepared the file with everything, all the assets are here, but let me explain you how I created the assets, okay? So I'm going to zoom out so we can see perfectly what's going on. Here, I have my, uh, I have my text, my, uh, uh, I have all of my different bios, I have them in different groups. I have my uh, Che Guevara text, my Coco Chanel text, my Bruce, uh, Bruce Lee text, and my Frida Kahlo text. And not only that, let me move this out of, let me copy it here so you can see what's going on. I'm going to copy it over here. And as you can see, this is actually a huge element. And these elements are the size of the artboard, the height of the artboard, because this is going to be a paged scrolling. So. Let me uh, just show you what is inside here. Right now, it doesn't look like there's anything, but everything, uh, the opacity of it is turned to zero. So I'm going to select this, and I'm going to turn the opacity to 100%. 100%, as you can see, all my elements are here. The only thing is that I turn them to uh, zero percent because that's the initial state of these elements. But here, just for us to, to see what's going on, I'm going to put them here so you can see what's going on. So here in each group, uh, each group has three elements. It has my, uh, my title, my bio, but also has a container. The container is the size of the uh, of the artboard of the. This is in this case is an iPad. So this container is just to tell me what is the size of the paging. Every time the scrolling uh, uh, scrolls at that size, then it's going to go to the next one. So this is just as a reference point for me. So that's why I created it that way. If I turn the opacity up, you're going to see. Oops, sorry opacity up, you're going to see that this container is just uh, great, but it's just like I turned the opacity down so you cannot see it, and I can only use it as a ruler. Okay, cool, so that's it. <clears throat> and over here I have uh, dots, and this dots, obviously the first point, it's the opacity is 100%, and then the rest of them are uh, 20%. So these are the dots that are going to tell me where in the flow I am. And then over here I have uh, the photos, and the photos, all of them are 100%. Let me uh, just hide them so you can see what's going on. So. I have all the photos already here, placed perfectly there, uh, and they're just on top of each other. Since the first one is checked, then that one is on top. Then the next, uh, the, the second uh, bio is Coco Chanel, so then that's why it's in the layers, the second one, and, and so on. You get it, right? You get it. And then I also added a mask just to, to make it a little bit uh, weird and, and edgy. Uh, <laughs> so I have this mask. It's just a rectangle rotated. It's just a white rectangle, which is the same uh, color of this uh, of, of all the container of the artboard. So this this guy is rotated at uh, two degrees, only two degrees, and then it gives me this, this thing. And then on each scrolling, I'm going to rotate it just a little bit to make that, the little animation. Okay, cool. Now we know how the elements are here. Now let's export them to Flinto. So I'm going to go to Flinto. Flinto, I don't have nothing. Okay, let's export this to Flinto. Send to Flinto. Automatically, the text this is an iPad. So uh, the size of an iPad. Okay. Okay, now I'm here. <clears throat> and the first thing, remember what I told you? The first thing is probably you want to uh, create your scroll group. So I'm going to select this. It has all the elements in here. And I'm going to make it a scroll, scrollable vertical here on the panel. And now, uh, not only that, but I also want it to be paging enabled. I enable paging and then I preview it. And now it is moving and it, it looks like it, what happened, right? <laughs> Hey, it disappeared. The thing is that the initial state, remember, it's 0% for the elements, all, all the other bios. But now that we made it scrollable, now we can control the, uh, the opacity of those elements with the behavior designer. Okay, we have our scroll group. 
Now let's select all of the elements, and except for this, we don't need the uh, the title influential people. So I'm going to, I'm selecting all of these elements because all of these elements are going to be affected with the behavior. And now I'm going to create a new behavior. I can select over here in this little magic one because it is like that. It is like magic what happens here. Okay, cool. Initial state is there. Everything looks in place. Now let's add our first state. Our first state is going to be uh, Coco. And actually the first one, instead of initial, let's call it Che. So here in Coco, uh, the first thing that I want to do is uh, change the opacity of Che Guevara to 0%. And actually, before I move it, I change the opacity. I also want to move it a little bit to the right, just subtly, just 30 pixels. One, two, three. I press Shift plus the uh, uh, arrow key, and then that way it moves 10 pixels. So one, two, three, that moves 30 pixels, and I'm going to change the opacity to 0%. And now we have Coco Chanel, right? So, so that's it. And then uh, let's just test that. This is this is going to be your first state. So now uh, let's let's preview this. What happens if I preview it? Nothing happens yet, right? And why is nothing happening? Because I haven't said uh, I hadn't added a gesture that goes from this state from Che to the Coco state. So I have to go back to the Che. Uh, to the chest state and add a gesture that connects, that takes me to the Coco state. So I'm going to uh, add a gesture, a scrolling gesture. So I'm going to select my scroll group and I'm going to add a gesture. I press F, I can add it over here and say scroll, or I can just press F and then connect it to this uh, different state. It's already scrolled, done. And then now my scrolling uh, area, I want to change it to the size of the artboard because it's it's going to be the whole thing that is moving. It's paging, right? So the size of the arbor and my paging is already the size of the arbor, so I'm going to do that. And then, not only that, here on Coco, <clears throat> Che Guevara is still 100%, the, the bio here. So I want to change the bio of that. I have here on my, on my scroll group. Uh, che text, I'm going to change it to 0%, and I'm going to change the bio of Coco Chanel, which is down here. I'm going to change it to 100%. And you're going to say, hey, but it's down here. Shouldn't it be here? Yeah, but that's going to happen with the scrolling. So let's test it. Let's test this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So cool, right? OK, so that's it. Now we have to apply this to every state. So uh, another thing that we want to do for this state is actually change the opacity of the dots. The first on, on the Coco Chanel, the first uh, dot should be 20%. And then the second dot should be 100% because that's in the indicating in what part of the flow I am, right? So I'm going to preview it again and see the dots. The dots are changing like magic. Ah, so cool, right? And if I keep, keep scrolling, nothing's happening because I haven't created those states. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to create the first. This next one is going to be called uh, Bruce Lee. Let's just call it Bruce. And then this guy, uh, Coco Chanel, sorry, Coco Chanel moves 30 pixels and opacity is 0%. And then I'm also going to create another state, which is called uh, Frida, which is Frida Kahlo. And then on this one, uh, Bruce moves 30 pixels and the opacity goes down to zero. And now it shows me Frida. So now on Coco Chanel, it's already done the, the bio, but on Bruce, it's still showing 100% on the bio of Coco Chanel. So let's go over here. Coco Chanel, the text goes down to zero and the Bruce text goes up 100%. Now let's do the same with Frida. The, the Coco Chanel should be 0%. Frida text should be 100%. Over. Oh, yeah, there it is. Now let's do the dots. Here are the dots. Here on Frida, it should be the fourth dot that is 100%. And the second the second dot should be 20%, 20%. Now with Bruce, the third dot should be 100%. And the second dot should be 20%. Now let's do something weird. Remember I told you about the the little uh, mask? This is this rectangle here. So here it starts at 2 degrees. Probably here in Coco Chanel, we can move it to minus two degrees. So it moves the other way around. And now with Frida, uh, let's do the same, minus two. Oh, whoa, <laughs> not minus 22, minus two. Okay, are you ready to test this? I'm so, so excited. Let's let's test it. Oh, <laughs> before we test it, we can name our behavior. Uh, I'm going to call it a scrolly butts. You can, you can name it whatever you want. You don't want, have to call it a scrolly butts. And remember I told you that it creates a group? It created a scroll behavior group over here too. So I'm going to call it a scroll, also scrolly butts. <laughs> okay, are you ready to test this? Let's test this. Okay, we add it here. See, even the mask move over here, the dot move. And then, 
nothing's happening. Why? Because I haven't added a gesture. Uh, <laughs> remember I told you, we need gestures to connect the, the different states. We created the states, it's all good, but we haven't added gestures. Oh, okay, so we need to go to here on Coco Chanel. Here on Coco Chanel, I haven't added a gesture that takes me to Bruce. So I need to go ahead and press F, and then this one is going to connect me to Bruce. And it's going to be scroll. And then, but this one, I'm going to move this over here. It should be the size of this, right? Around there, because that's the part where, where it's going to make that change. Now I'm going to do the same with this uh, state. I'm going to add another gesture that takes me to Frida. Done. Then I'm going to move my scrolling area to over here. It's not that hard, guys. Come on, it's easy, it's easy. We got it, we got this. There you go, around there. Okay, now we can preview it. And, and also Frida, Frida doesn't need it because that's the last state. Okay guys, I think we have everything ready. <laughs> Are you guys ready to preview this? Uh, okay, okay, drum roll. <laughs> okay, whatever, <laughs> let's preview it, okay. Uh, there you go, second state, third state, Bruce Lee is there, Frida Kahlo is there, nothing happens, goes back. Look at that, how cool is that? It's cool, right? Hopefully this inspires you to do a lot of effects in prototype, a lot of uh, different interactions. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions. Um, all the different files for this practices are in the description. It's just a Dropbox link. You can download all of them. Cool, that's it, guys. Thank you, subscribe, like, all that stuff. Thank you, bye-bye.